Good morning, all you IPS investors. Well, I'm very excited to say I'm standing right here in the heart of South Africa, one of our jewels, Camps Bay, Cape Town. What we're bringing to you today is one of the most exciting developments that IPS has ever been involved in. It's being brought to you by the Solomon Brothers. They've been around for 44 years and are one of the most respected developers in Cape Town. But what are they doing? In our research, we came to the conclusion that what was required in Cape Town because of an acute shortage of hotel apartment complexes was a five-star offering and that is the reason for the development of the Pepper Club concept. Now let's look at that investment. I think one of the most significant things is that the Solomon Brothers are providing for the huge lack of luxury accommodation in Cape Town. What they're doing is bringing to you a hotel slash apartment five-star scheme here in Cape Town. Now imagine yourself, you now own an apartment in Cape Town. This apartment is five-star service. It has full concierge. It has a five-star gym. It has its own movie theater and its own restaurants. What more could you ask for? And yet you own it. And for 30 days of the year, you can use it whenever you want. You don't have to put up with management issues. You don't have to put up with tenant issues because your investment is managed by a hotel operator. You get the investment returns, you get the lifestyle, but you get it without the hassle. The interesting thing with this development is that it's all about the investment and the cash flow. This development on a 12% return will be cash flow positive from day one because you've got mortgages at prime minus five, which are currently 10.5%. Now I challenge you to show me another investment anywhere in South Africa that is cash flow positive from day one. But what's even better is that because it's part of the UDZ zone, you can actually have a tax write-off. What that basically allows you to do is build up a tax loss that you can either offset against that positive income or against any other income for that matter, another property you own or even your job. But when you consider that at a 12% return, this investment will be paid off in eight years. That's where the lifestyle component comes in. Because now you basically have an investment product that will be earning you a fantastic return, but you have a fully paid for hotel holiday apartment in Cape Town. One of the most important components that one needs to take into account is that this investment is in Cape Town. Now let's be honest, Cape Town is completely unique to the rest of South Africa. You know, when one looks at the uncertainty of Zimbabwe and basically where that country is, one needs to consider that tourism is still a fundamental part and that property values in Harare, Kariba and Vic Falls are as high now as they ever were. In fact, they've actually escalated at a fantastic return in US dollar terms. And when one takes the beauty of Cape Town, when one takes the activities and when you take into effect how the world is waking up to the opportunities of Cape Town, Property prices in Cape Town, specifically the ones that are aimed at tourism, have a very good future ahead of them. And that's not even taking into account the World Cup. But let's run through some of those numbers and the huge impact that the World Cup is going to have on Cape Town and South Africa as a whole. According to Grant Thornton, the global TV audience alone is going to be 1 billion people, or 3.6 billion people will watch at least one game, half the world's population. 3 million tourists are going to come for the tournament. 30 billion rand in cash is going to flow into the country. 159,000 jobs will be created. 8.7 billion rand in transport upgrades. And we've seen the huge things that are happening with the car train up in Johannesburg. 5 billion rand is being spent on the 10 stadiums. And for those of you that think we're not going to be finished, just come to South Africa and see the progress that's happening at the Cape Town stadiums. 21.3 billion rand is going to be generated for the South African economy and 12.7 billion rand is going to come in direct spending. The numbers for the World Cup are very important, but what I think is most important is that when the world comes and they see what's happening with the World Cup, the rest of the world is going to wake up to South Africa. They're going to wake up to the beauty. They're going to wake up to the people. But most importantly, they're going to wake up to the opportunity. They're going to come back on holiday and ultimately, they're going to invest in the country.
Now let's look, we're actually here on site at the Pepper Club. Now this development is a 360 million rand development. But one of the most exciting things you can see is that pre-launch, it's already being built. They're up to the third floor, and that's basically what we're looking at and how we know that it's going to be finished towards the end of next year. The essence of this development is its location. The Pepper Club is right on Long Street. Long Street is one of the most vibrant streets in the whole of Cape Town. It's the tourist street. It's the party street. It's right next to Green Market Square. We're basically five minutes from the waterfront. We're seven minutes from Camps Bay and the beaches. We've got Table Mountain as our backdrop and the waterfront on the other side. We've got the Winelands less than an hour away. We've got the airport 20 minutes away. And then when one looks at it, the thing that sells South Africa more than anything, we've got the lions and the elephants. We've got the big five less than 90 minutes away from your holiday apartment, your investment, which sits right here in the heart of Cape Town.